Okay, let's start with problem one. Problem one says King Canoni loves to eat bacon. If he has 12 rabbits to trade, how many pigs will he get? I think the easiest way to help our students to start to tackle this problem is for them to understand what they're starting with and what they're trying to get to. So, if we know that we're starting with 12 rabbits and we're trying to get to pigs, that's gonna help us in the problem. So we have 12 rabbits, but we're trying to get to pigs. Now, our conversion factors are all listed up here. We need to figure out a path that will help us get from rabbits to pigs. To do this, I like to begin with the end in mind. I know that I need to get to pigs, and I'm gonna start over here on the right side of the page. What kinds of things can get me to pigs? So if I'm looking at my conversion factors, ducks can get me to pigs, and that's it. So I know before I get from rabbits to pigs, I'm gonna to have to go through ducks first. Now, let's look at ducks. What can get me to ducks? Chickens can get me to ducks, or an elephant. So I'm gonna split this off here. We said chickens, or an elephant can get me to ducks. Okay, now I'll notice that the elephant only gets me to ducks. So can I get to elephant can I get to rabbits from elephant? I can't. But if I look at chickens, can I get to chickens or two rabbits from chickens? I can. It's right here. So my path tells me I have to go from rabbits to chickens to ducks and then to pigs. All right. So now we're ready to form out our problem. So we know we are starting with 12 rabbits. So I'm going to list that over here on the left, draw a line underneath it, put it over one, I'm going to start to draw our fence posts, okay? In order for dimensional analysis to work, you have to be able to cancel out your units. And the only way to do that is to make sure that you have one on top and one on bottom. So I know that if I have rabbits here, in my next one, I'm going to have to have rabbits on the bottom. Now, I said I was going from rabbits to chickens, so if I'm using this conversion factor, that means if rabbits is on bottom, chickens has to go on top. Now I need my numbers. It tells me three rabbits is equal to two chickens. So my three goes next to my rabbits, my two goes next to my chickens. My rabbits now can cancel out because I have one on top and one on bottom, which leaves me with chickens. But I need to get to pigs, so I'm not done yet. So this time, I'm going to do the same thing. I have chickens on top. That means that whatever I'm converting to, I need chickens on bottom. This time I said I was going from chickens to ducks. So that tells me that ducks are going on top. So when I look at my conversion factor, it tells me that six ducks is equal to four chickens. All right, my chickens are going to cancel out. Now I have ducks. One more step to go. Now I just have to go from ducks to pigs. So I again, ducks on top, ducks on bottom, so they will cancel out. Now I'm going to go to pigs. All right, so four ducks, we don't need an S. Four ducks is equal to one pig. Ducks cancel out. I have finally gotten to the unit that I was trying to convert to. So now we can solve our problem. I always have my kids multiply all the way out across the top and multiply all the way out across the bottom first. So, we've got 12, 12 144. One times four is 12, over 48. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it down here. I'm gonna rewrite it again. Now remember, we do have units right now. What are the units? Our units are pigs. So when we divide, we always make sure that we put our units. And I have my kids box their answers so that I can easily find it. 